70% recycled tires. So they, they uh, really perform versus wind and hail like nothing else out there. We make uh, shake and slate looks, and we're gonna just do a little demo here. Matt's gonna Matt's gonna uh, fire this excessively fast. All right, guys. This is the little shit hail cannon. Shit is an acronym. It stands for shoots hail into things. We're gonna shoot the shit out of this Euro Shield. What's up, Ruben? And I mean that because she claims that it is hail proof, and since. Nothing is actually hailproof. I'm actually gonna to try to damage it. I'm gonna shoot it with spiky hail that's one and a half inches wide. It's got spikes all over it. It represents what happens in real life a lot better than the spherical hail that Haig uses in their laboratory testing um, and only tells you half of the story that only benefits insurance companies. Uh, you guys deal with insurance claims? Yeah, you guys deal with the bullshit it takes one inch hail to cause damage to a three tap shingle? It's bullshit, right? Because the study that they have that on is based on an 11 year old roof. If your roof is older than that, that study doesn't matter. If the hail is falling in a storm that has wind, which all thunderstorms have, then it's bullshit, it should be thrown out, but they're using that rule of thumb against you anyway. If you guys wanna learn more, you can check out the Building Experts Institute at buildingexperts.institute. I've got a free 30 day trial for you guys at my booth in there. And I'm gonna shoot the shit out of this thing right now. Are you ready? Three. Two, one. If that didn't damage it, then it might actually be hailproof. Son of a bitch. It's got to have damage under it, right? Oh, that's from the notes. All right. It looks to me like it's ready to go be uh, nailed on a roof. You win Good again. Job. I did damage one of them. I damaged the slate line at the windstorm storm conference the last time. I put a little indentation in it. I did explode my hail cannon doing it. It got way more damage than your shingle did, but I put a little bitty dent in it. It was awesome. Yeah, so, congrats. All right, you guys are intrigued by what it is we do. Your shield is literally the most hail-proof shingle there is, and it's also very windproof because of the cleats that are on it. It doesn't rely on glue to stay down in wind. Got little French cleats on the ends of it. It's amazing. Made um, it through Ian. Yeah, but huh. every single one of them is still in perfect condition, the way it was installed anyway. So, uh, so and it's easy to install. And I'm not a Euroshield guy, but that's a great. That's what I'm putting on my house. Thank you. I wanted to do it again. <laughs> I wasn't too concerned. <laughs>